First off, I'm very sorry for the Thank losses you. that have been involved here. I mean, there's been loss of life, there's been loss of property. You lost everything, right? We, um, we lost our home, we lost our car, we have two businesses, we lost the whole building. Yeah, I, I saw, I didn't see a picture of your house, I saw a picture of a foundation where your house was mm -hmm. and burned out car and everything. How badly did this hit your family and the people that you know and care about? Well, the people I know and care about lost everything. Yeah. Uh, thank God I didn't. My job was the only thing affected. And so your objection here is that you say there's a community member, Melinda, that was part of this area where the fires took place, but did not lose anything. No. You say she's a scammer, a con artist, and a fraudster. Mm -hmm. Those are serious allegations. You said she set up a GoFundMe page with an alias. I believe it's an alias. And raised $620? About that. Okay. And you say she was evicted for being 13 months in arrears where she did live, even though it wasn't damaged. She was evicted after the fires. Yeah. It doesn't really have anything to do with it. It's just, you just bring it up as a Well, I fact. just bring it up as a fact because she says that she lost everything and her home and everything. And then a week later when she's allowed back into town, she's with a reporter who shows simply that she was crying happy tears because she lost nothing. It just smelled okay. a little like smoke. And then you say she moved to Alaska to hide. Are, are these all your beliefs or yours too? I mean, are you all of the same oh, mind it's about this? Oh, hands down, we're all in agreement. We have proof. July 17, you said there is a video of her out there with a news reporter going to see her home for the first time after the fires and it shows no damage whatsoever. Everything is perfect. And she was shocked in the video that her place was still standing. So. But yet she had put up through this alias that she had lost everything. Mm -hmm. And cool. then you've got video proof she didn't lose anything. Mm -hmm. Well, here's that video, a CBS News report featuring Melinda returning to her home for the first time since the wildfires. The first drive home since Monday. Destruction goes on for miles. Right down here is our condo building. Fingers crossed. Looks good. Unlike a lot of their neighbors, came home to a building untouched by the flames. It stopped at the parking lot and that was it. But it was close. Uh, it looks just like we left it. There's nothing, I mean, nothing. I think it'll help us heal getting, being able to see this. So what's y'all's reaction to that after when you read, uh, I've lost everything, gold, $5,000 on a GoFundMe page and all? I'm, I'm appalled, I'm aggravated that there's so many that are still living in tents and cars and homeless. That $600, whether it was $600, $6, whatever, could have gone to a family to get them a hotel for a night sure. and got them off the streets. And here I am, no income, lost everything, every precious memory, every piece of jewelry my 97-year-old grandmother left me when she passed away. And here she is lost nothing and yet she's saying she lost everything it's just and you know this is kind of a comparison mm -hmm. uh between your property on the left and her property on the right yes what did you think when you saw the video it's ridiculous i'm ashamed to say she's from tennessee mm -hmm. i don't know her i've never met her a day in my life but you find the behavior objectionable it's disgusting Mm -hmm. And it's embarrassing to say she's, she even lives where we live. That's, mm -hmm. that's not who we are. She's betraying our county.